So now let's see how we can adjust our text and change its properties. So to do that, I'm going to go around and bring in a text right here. So I'm just going to go around and say to 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 and I'm going to press enter just like this. And then I'm going to say keep on uh, learning just like this. And I'm going to say keep on watching right here. So this is what I have. And if I were to resize out the text box right here, you can see everything rearranges as well. So now what you can do is this is a text box. You can select out any part of the text or the entire text as you wish as well. And then you can make changes to it. Let's say, for example, for the TutorTube header right here, I want to change out the font style right here. I can go around and set it as heading one and you can see it becomes larger. I can go around, set the style to Verdana and the teens now uh, and the style changes accordingly as well as you can see. Or you can also go around and reset it uh, um, according to the default style or go to custom section right here. And then you can add in web fonts or Google fonts as well. But that is something that we're going to cover up in upcoming videos. So if I were to go around over here, you can see that I can increase and decrease the size of the font as well. You can bold it, italicize it, underline it, strike it through and so forth as you can see. You can left align it, you can center align it or right align it. But let me just increase the size and let's see how that looks. You can go around over here and you can see that you can left align it, center align it, right align it right here. And then if you have, let's say something like a paragraph. So I'm just going to go around over here and say this is an example paragraph right here, just like this. So let's say this is what I have. And I'm going to go around and copy and paste this several times. So I'm just going to go around over here, double click, go around onto the end right here, uh, and then press Control V, and you can see that there's this paragraph right here. Let me just go around, press backspace right here, just like this. Let me press Enter. You can see that this is what you have right here. So now with the paragraph, you can see everything is center centered out, so you can left align it center align it, right align it, or justify so that, that there's, uh, there is an equal space. You can also go around over here, make other changes. Let's say, for example, if I were to type in H2O right here, this is uh, uh, a formula right here for water. So let me just go around and type in H2O. And to make sure that you see it much more clearly, let me just expand this out as well. And then for the H2O, so let me just select this and change the size of this uh, text as well. I can go around and type in 74 uh, right here, just like this. And you can see that it changes out the text size as well. You can select out any part of the text and make it a subscript. Or you can go around and let's say, for example, I'm going to say A square plus B square right here, just like this. You can go around and make it a superscript over here as well. So this is how you can work as well. Let's say, for example, I need to type something like first right here, just like this. We can select the ST and make it a superscript right here. For the one, let me just go around, remove it, and you can see that this is what you have. And this is how you can go around and format out the text as well. Let me just select the shape and resize it. That is because uh, it is just uh, collecting this out. So you can see that this is what you have. If you have to go around onto the text, you can also, let's say, for example, I'm going to go around and type in some random points right here. You can turn all of these into, let's say, uh, a numbered list as well. You can also go around and you can type it in, as you can see right here. You can press tab right here, just like this, adjust up all of the notes. Or you can go around over here and then turn it into uh, an unordered list that is a bullet point. That is how you can work as well. You can go around onto the top right here and then you can, let's say, for example, uh, click on increase indent right here. So you can uh, like uh, push the paragraph out or you can decrease the indent as well, just like this. Besides that, you can see that there's many different options that you can select, right? You can go around and then turn it right here. You can turn it everything into an HTML code as well if you want and so forth. Let me just go around and then select all of these uh, paragraph lines and then turn it into a paragraph right here. You can select out anything right here and change the font color as well. You can click choose the font color or manually choose out the font color like this. Or you can even en enter the hexadecimal code if you know the hexadecimal code right here and the font color changes. 
Let me just go around, select this out right here, change this out, apply, and you can see only that font changes. For this one, let me just go around and keep it black itself. So let me select this text and keep it black right here. So uh, regarding this, let me just go around and change it to, let's say, red right here, just like this. Or you can select red from over here. And then you can also go around and select, let's say, I want the tutor to be black itself. So I'm just going to go around, select black, press apply. And then this is how you can create style. You can also work around with the background color, as you can see right here. Choose around any color that you want. So let me just select something like this. Let me just select the text right here and then go around onto the background color, apply, and you can see that the background color gets applied over here on the selected text. So that is what you have, as you can see, just like this. Let me just go around over here, select out the text right here, and you can see that you can also work around with the line height right here. You can insert out hyperlinks, you can go around insert out images, you can insert out horizontal rule or table as well, but this is something that we're going to focus up in upcoming videos. So these are the ways in which how you can adjust out text inside of diagrams.net. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.